So let's assume you have a very basic view just like this. And in my example, I want to show you a view that changes appearance when it refreshes. So what I did is create an array of different colors and get a random element from that. So as you can see in the preview right now, the green color was chosen at random. Next time it might be another color. This is just so we can see when the view actually refreshes. So why would you want to refresh a view? Usually in SwiftUI, everything automatically refreshes when you're using state variables that are being used in your view's body. But as you can see in this example, there aren't any state variables used in the view body because we don't have any use case for that. Now, of course, you could refactor this. And in this example, it would be totally fine to, for example, move out this piece of logic into a state variable and if we want to change the background, we just change that state variable, which is, for example, a color. Now, in some other cases, this might not be possible because we don't just want to use the click of a button. An example would be where we want to refresh the view when the app um, enters the foreground again. So if the app was running in the background, now it enters the foreground again. You want to refresh the view's content. It might not be so easy using state variables that somehow reflect the state of the view. So let me show you another way of refreshing the view. And just to prove my point, I have a refresh view button down here. And when I click it, nothing happens. So it does not refresh our UI. What can we do? So first of all, let's introduce a state variable that's called internal state. You can call this whatever you want. We will not be using this for anything inside of our UI. Even with this state variable, the button still does nothing. The view is not refreshed. So you might think, okay, now I have a state. So I can just say internal state plus equals one. So just increase or change the internal state. Refresh view still doesn't do anything. Why is that? Because this state variable isn't accessed or read anywhere inside of our view body. It is being written to inside of the button closure but it is not used inside of the body um, in any other way. So uh, one example would be to not use a random element here and instead use the internal state as an index for the color. Now, if we refresh the view, now it will get refreshed because of course we are reading our internal state state variable. But as I said, we don't want to do that. I'm not saying that this is an approach that you need to take, but there are certain situations where this is just necessary. So how can we make this refresh view button work without actually reading the internal state? Well, technically we can't, but there's a modifier that basically does nothing in quotation marks. It creates an identifier for this V stack, which means, and if you know something about the SwiftUI layout system, then this will be pretty obvious to you. Otherwise, let me give you a quick rundown. So SwiftUI compares the identifiers of views to know if they change. And this identifier is usually um, computed within the SwiftUI framework, but we can also give an explicit identifier to a view, which in this case is a VStack of a color and a button by using the .id modifier. And as our ID, you guessed it, we will just be using our internal state. What does this mean? It means that when this view is first drawn, it has the ID of zero. Then we can press the refresh view button, which changes our internal state to one, which changes the ID of our view to one, which means now this V stack isn't the same as it used to be because now it has the ID of one where previously it had the ID of zero. So to the SwiftUI layout system, these are now two independent views which means the content changed, which means it gets redrawn. So if we now click the refresh view button, you will see it gets redrawn. And I visualize that through just changing the color with this random array. This is a helpful little technique. I hope you don't need it too often because of course you usually want to update state through a state variable. But if you somehow need to refresh a view, assigning an ID and changing that ID through some piece of logic is the way to go.